Light me up, don't you stop Cause tonight, it's on the line Show me how, you get on down Close my eyes, take me for a ride Hey guys and welcome back to my channel for another vlog a very exciting vlog very very exciting as you can tell i'm in the car the car is well and truly loaded up i have got if you can see the trailer is on the back and it's got spritey in there and spritey and i are off on one heck of a journey <laughs> a very very long journey so she's loaded up like a pro and i thought i won't start this vlog because it is a few days so that can end up sometimes being an awful lot of footage and really i've only been traveling and i'm on my own which i'm not actually time has flown by as i've been traveling along with my own thoughts i've been listening to some fab podcasts don't know if anybody follows m clarkson on instagram but i really love her content and she has just started doing a podcast so i have just listened to my first one of that which was really interesting um with her mindset coach actually jacqueline and that was really really interesting and it's like over an hour long so yeah passes the time very well i've just i've only got about probably about an hour's left of the journey but i've only stopped once for fuel so i just want to give spritey a little bit of a break going off her some water i also need a wee gonna grab a coffee just for the last little stint and i'm breaking the journey up into two two days basically so i need to be there tomorrow so I am staying at the lovely Sophie's this evening, um, which, as I just mentioned, I'm about an hour's away. So Sophie works for Horse and Country. And you may remember her from the Swipe Up Kick On vlogs. And yes, I am doing Back to Basics dressage series with Spritey. It was going to be Addy because they want to show a variety of different horses. So there are some people that are up there that I think you guys might know. There's four riders. We're being taught by Bobby Haler and of what I've seen of her beautiful indoor school, I cannot wait to see her place. Um, so yeah, that won't be until tomorrow. Today is just about traveling. Um, it's currently Sunday. Get up there Monday and then we're riding Tuesday and Wednesday. I just thought I'd just give Spritey a little bit of a break of driving constantly. Let her just stand for a minute. Like I said, I'm going to go give her some water. Actually, I've got a pack of polos. Well, actually, I've got a lot of pack of polos because this was a little Christmas prezi from a follower for Spritey. Um, and Addy got one too. Can't get into it. So let's go feed her a whole load of polos. Basically, I'm taking you guys along for the ride for the journey it is obviously going to be all in different episodes on horse and country i don't know when it's going to be out i can ask jenny that when uh, obviously i get up there tomorrow and then can let you guys know i'm all tangled up my mask is tangled up in my charging lead very exciting and i do feel I'll, I'll mention this now i feel a little bit off my head on quite how far i'm having to travel for this these polos smell amazing i feel a little bit crazy a little bit off my head but i know that sprite is I mean, touch wood, I know that we're only like halfway on the journey, but is a very good traveller. When I was worried about her going up to Burry Farm, and that was quite a long way, she came off like a spring chicken. Um, I can take her out in these services as well, so I probably will do that tomorrow. Today's journey isn't quite as long as I think tomorrow's going to be. I think tomorrow will be just a little bit longer, um, and especially on roads that I have never driven on, like the roads that I'm on at the moment, I have driven on a fair few times, so it's kind of like a little bit of the no so i know that she travels well and spritey is obviously getting on a little bit and how many more opportunities like this am i going to have so you only live once life is short and i was like screw it it's fine i'm breaking up the journey it's gonna be absolutely fine so yeah I might feel crazy, but at the same time, I'm like, no, I've got to make the most of this and enjoy what is going to be a lovely time away with my number one girly. So, yeah, I'm really excited. I also get asked a lot on Instagram and comments of me schooling Spritey and how she's still supple and fit and all of that. And that's what I kind of said to Jenny when I said, oh, I'm not going to be able to travel. Obviously, we all know that Addie's had a bit of a confidence wobble, but she is now loading and we went for a lesson down at Fred's yesterday. So 
progress has been made. She's now going to have two weeks off because I am obviously away this week. Then I've got something else exciting next week as well. So it's just, it's come at a good time. We've gotten over the loading issue. We've gone down for a lesson. So yeah, now is the time when those sort of things have been fixed. She can go away and mentally like take it and digest it. So yeah, she's on two weeks holiday. She's gonna just be feral now um, and live out as well. Anyways, I've totally digressed. When I knew I couldn't take Addy, I said to Jenny, well, actually I do get quite a lot of questions about Sprite. She's still very fit and able um, if you would like me to bring her. And she, I sent her a little video um, of her and she was like, oh my goodness, can't believe that she's 27. 27 this year, I still can't get over it either. <laughs> That's how it came about of taking Spritey. So yeah, let's go and um, let's go and say hi to the number one girly. Oh, it's chilly as well. But I did feel her when I stopped for some fuel. Hello, Wiggle Woo. Are you okay? You okay? You good girl. Oh look, I got some polos. What's up? Yeah. I feel like I haven't actually had much content to really make for you guys um i've just I've, after vlogmas when it was so go 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 i've kind of just lost the motivation a little bit but that's changing now come on that needs to change and i've still got vlogs to go out oh you're nice and warm you're all good you're all good nice to have a little break hey oh you're gonna eat like this whole pack of polos aren't you <laughs> love you right i'll leave you stand there for a minute oh let's get the bucket and get you some water we have arrived at our first destination. Oh, it's Brady Boo. She's like, I'm loving this grass. <laughs> she's just pulled me out of the stable. I let her settle in her stable, which is beautiful, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, but yeah, it's lovely. There's been a little bit of a change of plan. We are now, Spikey's going to have some company, aren't you, tomorrow? And we're also taking up Sophie's horse, Oscar, who I will be riding in the series as well, which is a little bit daunting, but we'll be good. A little bit pushing me out of my comfort zone, but I think that's a good thing. Um, so yeah, I just thought before it gets dark, give Spritey a little bit of a walk around. Wow, I'm being kind of turned <laughs> around, aren't I, Sprite? <laughs> Are you enjoying all this grass? Proper toe <laughs> around. Um, yeah, and then I'll pop her back in and then she can have her dinner. We're off to the pub to have our dinner. And then we're going to go for a little hack tomorrow morning, which I cannot wait to go for a hack around here because it is absolutely beautiful. You can see for miles, actually. But driving in went quite... An, it was so lovely and scenic. I was like probably having a little nose round. But we're going to go out hacking as well. And yeah, stretch, give her a proper little stretch before obviously continuing on with the journey tomorrow. Um, but at least Friday we'll have a bit of company in the box now. So that'd be nice. And I think Sophie will jump in with me as well. So yeah very good i'm excited i'm getting excited now good morning how did you sleep did you sleep okay yeah you're all like quite perky this morning aren't you you know he's a little pricked over the door as i walked up <laughs> she's like mum get off there don't do fuss but i slept very well it was lush we had a nice indian curry you're so toasty warm you're like proper settled aren't you just like yeah i'm chilled <laughs> Um, but yeah, I don't know if she's lying down or not. She's got such a big stable. Look how big the stable is. It's huge. It is for you, you little dink. Next step is we're going to go for a hack. Obviously, it's still a little bit dark out there at the minute, but I'll go find Sophie. Um, and I might muck her out, actually, get that done. Fill up the hay net ready for the next part of the travel. Um, but yeah, hopefully going to get off fairly good time early. Where we're actually going, guys, is in Yorkshire. So... I might have to just put a little map of where, how far I am travelling on screen now and literally from Cornwall all the way to Yorkshire. Like I said at the beginning of the vlog, yes, I might be a little bit off my head, but it is going to be totally and utterly worth it. Um, and obviously, as I mentioned yesterday, we are now taking Oscar, Sophie's pony, which I will introduce you um, when it's a bit lighter. I think Sophie was going to aim to put them out for a little bit this morning um, before obviously he's travelling up too. Oh, she's gone back for her hay It's nice because Sprite doesn't always eat when she comes away. Well, she never used to. Obviously, she's done more stay away shows. And when I first used to take her, I'd always come out in the morning and this would still be full up. But look, she has eaten it all. So it makes me much happier. She's obviously at a lot of haylage last night. 
and is tucking them again now. So I know that she's settled, she's happy. You never used to eat, did you? No. When we first started going places and overnight stays. But she's she's more settled, she more knows now, doesn't she? And she knows that we're off on an adventure, which is very exciting. I'm gonna go for a hack first. I think you're gonna be wired on a hack. I'm quite excited. <laughs> If you try to close it and you keep pushing it, don't you? Is that noise? <laughs> Are you feeling well, Sprite? You're very strong. <laughs> I was just going to say, do you want to wave? This is Sophie and Joey. <laughs> oh, you look handsome. <laughs> Out in the most, it is a little bit dark, but the most beautiful, beautiful hacking. I thought I've got good hacking. This is amazing. Spritey is loving it. She thinks she's just come on a little hack, hack holiday. <laughs> Sorry, it's way too bouncy. We're testing out the iPhone stabilization right now. <laughs> Look at them all. I'm going to let you go, Sprite. Don't put them on my... That is like the biggest. I don't know what it is. It's not a herd of deer, is it? Yeah, I'm not sure, but look at them all. I can't believe there's so many. I said we only ever see about one or two in Cornwall. I'm gonna have to Google it, I'll put it on screen. <laughs> Spider's still absolutely loving life. <laughs> bouncy, 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 aren't you? <laughs> How old are you feeling today, Spidey? Six? <laughs> Good morning. Oh. oh, you're all so cute. What do you think, Spidey? Hello, Mr. Cockrell. I forgot you as well. Good morning. <laughs> okay. Trailer is all done. We're all, we are filled to the brim now, now that we've got two horses, two people, two stuff, two lots of stuff. And it's time to load up and get on the road for the second part of the travel. Isn't it, Spidey Boo? Yeah. You're lovely warm. I'm going to leave you in that rug, I think. Um, hoping that you haven't done any more poos. Right, it's gonna be like going again in the trailer again. Come on, we're in this side this time. So you're the smaller one. Again, again, Liz. You got a friend coming this time and got to poo as soon as you're in the box. Anyone else's horse do that? Literally, Sprite gets in the box and poos, don't you? Yes, you do. There's now two noses in here, isn't there? You got a friend, Sprite. This is Oscar. All right, Oscar, this is Spritey. <laughs> Are you going to squeal? Oh, you've only squealed once, Sprite. I'm quite impressed. I have to really crouch down because it's, it's filled up with hay nets, isn't it? Good ponies. You've got a long travel. You'll get to know each other by the, by the time we're there. Oh, that nose, Sprite. Mwah. Six hours later and we have arrived. <laughs> Shall I move that? Probably gonna need to, yeah. It's quite heavy though. <laughs> Ponies have travelled super well. This is Jess. Hello. Say hi to the vlog. <laughs> I'm Sophie. Um, yeah, you haven't actually said hello to the vlog yet, have you? <laughs> and we've got Sophie, so I've already introduced Oscar to the vlog. But not, not um, when they Are you pouring the ground, Sprite? Are you dying to get off? Come on, darling. Get Oscar off first. Oh, oh, boy. Boy. Are you coming too, Wiggle? Two. You're gonna hold on though, so I haven't untied you. Two seconds. Two seconds. You're eager beaver. Hold on. <laughs> Are you keen? <laughs> like, yes, yeah, knock you off. Come on then. Good girl. Oh. Oh, done. Shut that. And we'll go find your stable. Are you going to do your little jumps again? What well, are you? Really excited? <laughs> really excited. <laughs> you're going to be left, you're going to have a little doze and chill on your own for a minute because we are heading into the most beautiful indoor school, which I'll obviously show you guys in a second. And I'm going to have, so Sophie's going to ride obviously Oscar first, just walking around, get him used, a bit of arena familiarisation before I will be getting on and having my first ride. <laughs> I'm excited, he's very sweet, but I'm a bit nervous, I can't lie. And uh, Jess and Rocky are also gonna come in and have a little ride around too. Obviously Spritey went for a, a gorgeous hack this morning, so I'm not overly worried about stretching her legs, but might take her out just 
walk her down the road and back. But I think she's quite chill. About to tuck into a Hena, aren't you? We finally made it, Spidey. We are a long, long way away from home. I can't stop thinking that. <laughs> Just having a little 30 second appreciation of this amazing indoor school. He's looking good. He's not looking like he's looking at things, is he? Oh, good. Oh, look at the face. Look at the face. Don't get any of that. Oh, three heads are down. <laughs> Would you say it's dinner time? Happy ponies. See you tomorrow. Nighty night. Oh, is that yummy? <laughs> ah, that's better. Showered, hair washed. Does anyone else find that when you have been traveling and driving, like even though you're not really moving, I still just feel like I need to shower and like just freshen up basically. So yeah, quick little shower, the shower's very nice here. Um, and I'm all settled in my room. It feels very strange to be on my own. I'm usually sharing, aren't I? Tina and I are usually here together. I'm gonna head down, grab some food, just relax a little bit for the evening now. Um, like last night, I have a nice relaxed evening and then be ready to go bright and early Breakfast is at seven, so I think actually we'll probably be down there near enough seven so that we can get to the horses. I've got to groom Spritey all up, make her look all lush. I need to clean my tack, <laughs> which you would think I would do these sort of things before I like get here. But I had a really good ride on Oscar. Oscar was fab, um, completely different to anything I have ever ridden before, but I am a huge believer that actually riding different horses are really good for you. So I'm really interested and looking forward to having a lesson on him. Like tonight, I felt pretty comfortable on him, to be honest, but I know that there's things that I can do better to obviously help him. Uh, he was racing. I can obviously get Sophie to say a little bit more about this tomorrow, but actually he was racing up until, I want to say, was training racing about 18 months ago, and Sophie's had him for about a year. So he's actually quite new, and he's got quite a lot of mileage of racing. He's won six races, and he also, and he's 14, so yeah, he's done racing for a lot of his life, and the last 12 months he's basically changing his job. So it's all new to him to build up different muscles, so it's going to be really, really interesting riding him. And of course, I can't wait to ride Spitey. Hopefully she's feeling just as good as she was on her hack this morning, but hopefully she'll get a good night's sleep in that gorgeous stable. And yeah, she'll be bright and bubbly and ready for it tomorrow. Oh, I'm so excited. Another trip and another load of memories to make with her. So yeah, I'm really glad that she's come along. A little bit more so than perhaps Addy. I'm probably a bit more relaxed because I've got Sprite. Addy, I think it would have been a lot for her to take in and actually, I don't even know why I was contemplating doing that with a rising five-year-old. Um, yeah, the journey would have been far too much for her. So actually, I've made come to my senses yeah, I suppose, but yeah. Anyways, right, let's message the girls and yeah, let's go down and get some dinner. Good morning, guys. It is the day of filming. Sorry, Spidey, I've just stopped grooming you, haven't you? Because we are getting all the ponies all spruced up and ready for a very, I think it's gonna be a very jam-packed day, but it's gonna be a very fun day and I am very, very excited. You've had a little lie down and a sleep because you've got shavings in your tail. So uh, I'm now using, which I don't think I've actually shown on a vlog yet, is gorgeous. I've got a grooming set, which I think I have mentioned before that I've always wanted a proper posh grooming set, not just like standard, like odd brush here and there. But this was a gorgeous Christmas present from lovely Rebecca and her mum at Digital Horse Equilite. Um, yeah, just as a little bit of a thank you for everything throughout the year. And honestly, I was so overwhelmed when I opened this. Oh, my horse is escaping. <laughs> She's like, my friend's left. Come on. <laughs> You're naughty. You're so naughty. <laughs> she went and followed you. Behind the scenes of vlogging life, he's pretty. <laughs> and she's back in. <laughs> You're such a monkey. That's brilliant. I love that. That's behind the scenes. Don't push the door open, missus. 
there, yes. I'm using gorgeous. So I've got the set of the occlusive. Is it equiclusive? Equiclusive. Hello, Hello. and look who's rocked up. <laughs> I've been here a while. Um, I and have... coffee in hand. I, I never know. know you without a coffee in hand. Um, dry cappuccino. <laughs> you nice. do not want to know me without a coffee in hand. Fair. Um, so yes, I'm giving Spritey a lovely groom with this beautiful set of brushes. So huge, huge thank you, Digital Horse Equilite for, I'm actually going to say, probably my best Christmas present, actually. Um, and yeah, I've been dying to use them, but I've obviously wanted to use them on the clean horses. Spritey has been bathed uh, a couple of days ago. So yeah, now get to use them. And you follow like little instructions. It says what brushes to use. And they even have got me the ones that I need for Addy's colour as well as chestnut for Spritey. So yeah, buzzing, buzzing, buzzing. Um, but I have taken a rug off, so let's not leave her too long. Uh, need to get some grooming spray, paint up her feet. Do that basically, what Sophie's doing right now. <laughs> Trying to. Yeah, and make them look all gorgeous and get the uh, shaving bit of your tail too, isn't it? Yes. So yeah, crack on and then uh, let the day unfold. Okay, so it is show time. The ponies aren't being used in the first, I think it's the first episode, the first little bit. We are, we're all branded up. So the series is being sponsored by NAF and the first episode is fitness, isn't it? It is. Yeah. On a ball, exercise ball. <laughs> I'm, I did have a little, uh, I did a quick 30 minute YouTube video last week because I did know that an exercise ball had been mentioned. So I did have a little go, but I wasn't very good. So this is going to be probably quite entertaining. So if you want to check that out, make sure that you watch the first episode of the Rider Fitness. <laughs> Coming isn't it? I'm like, <laughs> this is Emily's camera. Mic'd up. <laughs> Mic'd up and ready to go. Camera action. <laughs> this is a video. We well, have photos happening behind. You go, you go. Okay. What are we filming today? Uh, today we are filming. What are we filming, guys? David riding up. Back to basics. Uh, dressage. We have Jess. We have our leader, Bobby Hayler. We have Emily and we have David. Uh, guys, are you excited? Very excited. Dressage today. Very. Bobby, you're in charge. You've got to teach all this lot. Yes. <laughs> I will do my very best, very best, but they are a very good bunch, so I'm very excited. Emily, how many hours does it take me to get here? Ten and a half. Steady. <laughs> <laughs> Any corrections you make, slow corrections, okay? Very good. No, you're doing really well. These are not harder than you, than you, than you think, yeah? You're looking. Don't get far. You are on a surface.
Put your inside leg on and push your ribs to the right. Now, turn your hips to me as much as you can. Well done, well done. Look in your eyes and remember our speed control. Yeah. Because her reaction there, that's not the wrong reaction, was to slow down. Forward, inside, hip back. And look, you've got body bent. And all I simply did was tell you how to sit a little straight. Enjoy that. I know. <laughs> what a difference. I know. Have you learned for your uh, walk back on? He's such a good boy. He's like so willing and just it's him wanting to listen to you, isn't it? Yeah, he's um, he's I'll keep him walking and not yeah, yeah, yeah. doing it, but he's awesome. Honestly, yeah. He looked amazing. You've got your warm up now for Saturday. I know. Oh my goodness, my body is in bits. My brain is in bits. I've taken on so much new information, which was absolutely amazing. Bobby is amazing and thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. And even being on a horse that I don't even know, like Oscar, oh, it was just so, so good. But I'm going to have a little break. We're going to have some lunch. Coming over to the house for some lunch. That's my riding done for today. 
I will be riding again tomorrow morning, which my body is probably going, yay, a break. <laughs> but yeah, go eat some lunch and then we've got some more photos and stuff to do later today. is a wrap of day one it's been a long day but it's been an absolute epic day i feel like i have learned so much and so much that i'm going to be able to take away and use with addy which is amazing and obviously i haven't had a lesson on spry i can't remember if i've said this i think i might have said this to somebody not to the vlog but I can't remember the last time I had a lesson on Sprite. And obviously I school her quite often. So I've got into habits and things that I'm doing and not realising, like my hips. So that is definitely something. I do quite like to do a gym workout and some squats. But Bobby's told me to put a band around and then you'll know that my right leg is falling out. I need to just get my legs levelled up. So that is definitely going to be purchased. Get a band, put that around as I'm doing my squats and then it will be easily obvious what is actually happening. But it's just been epic. Oscar was such a good boy. So he was very fresh when I got on. But again, the exercise that Bobby told me to do, just in walk, just literally wiggle, serpentine, real shallow serpentine all the way up the school. And it just got me putting my leg on, riding, and him then starting to obviously listen to me. This is David. I don't think you've said hi to the vlog Hello. yet. <laughs> you've arrived today, ready yes. for some action tomorrow. I certainly am. Yeah. yeah. But we're off to the pub in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> the best bit. <laughs> no. <laughs> the lessons today have been most definitely the best bit. So yes, the stuff that Bobby taught me on Oscar about... Basically, you've, he is a racing horse. He knows racing. He doesn't know dressage. And when he's in there, he's just a little bit almost nervous and you just need to remember to hold his hand. Keep your leg on. To be his security by keeping your leg on, sponging with the hands, that you're there, you're with him every single step and to remind him that you're there. And that's exactly what I need to remember for Addy. It, it, it was just honestly so beneficial and I can't wait for you guys to see each episode. It's obviously all being broken down into multiple episodes on Horse and Country. So yeah, make sure that you look out for that. And yeah, the first episode will be out, which is the Rider Fitness one, which is quite funny. And I think uh, Sophie did capture a little funny moment of David on the ball when his hand <laughs> slipped and he went poof, which was quite funny. Just watch Bobby riding now on some gorgeous gorgeous horses and just making it look so effortless like oh so effortless although she did finish and then she had been talking the whole time as well and she was out of puff so you know as well as well as she's making it look she is working incredibly hard every single step like I felt today on both of Sprite and Oscar. Gonna finish the vlog here for today and head off back to the hotel have a shower, have some food, get a good night's sleep and be ready for day two of filming tomorrow. Again, riding Oscar and Spritey, doing some leg yield and some shoulder four and Traveth, is it Traveth? Quarters in. Traverse, Traverse. Yeah. Traverse, not Traverse. Yeah. Who's Traverse? Traverse? That's like, that's like Shakespeare. Macbeth. Castle in Cornwall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> 
traverse, basically quarters in. That's how I know it. And I've never actually really done it with Sprite. So I'll be learning tomorrow, which I, I just, I love learning and I love learning new things. And it's all stuff and knowledge and experience to help, especially when I know that I've got Addie at home. Not that I will be doing that anytime soon on her, but you know, it's things that I can look back on in a couple of years time and be like, oh yeah. And remember how to, how to ask for it. Oh, we just had a pretty cat come in. Right, Spritey, let's get your dinner. Say good night and I'll see you bright and early tomorrow morning. Yeah, got to be here for half eight tomorrow. It's a little bit earlier. Right, Spritey's dinner. Let's get some water and I will see you guys tomorrow morning. Day two of filming, here we go. Let's see, hello Spritey, Woo! That was a very perky face. Did you have another good night's sleep? Yeah. Hey. Oh, you're lovely and warm. It's very, very chilly this morning. Very chilly, but it's beautiful out there. I think it's going to be nice and the sun's going to be out today. Not as quite as bleak as it was yesterday, but another morning filled of filming. Both Oscar and Spritey. And Sophie's even warming Spritey up for me today. You get to ride Spritey. I'm going to warm up Spritey. Yay. Can you walk? <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm going to Ooh, set up and ready. That wasn't much running. <laughs> I want to see your best extended trot. <laughs> One way to get warm. <laughs> Basically, what you just seen Bobby in there doing, the beautiful leg gilding. Me and Oscar are now going to give it a go, aren't we? <laughs> Here we are. You were doing it lovely on a circle yesterday, so. You can do it. Yeah. You can move away from your legs. It's just, um, I think I can't remember which range of struggles are now. You know, when you just. You'll Bobby know. was just saying that about his bending, because he doesn't like to bend left, does he? Well, I'm, oh, yeah. Oh, is it? <laughs> Oh, so you can't tell that I'm vlogging. I didn't even realise. You guys were just chatting talk. away. Like <laughs> just like normal. Yeah, what um, did you say? Yes, say left. He was struggling. He was struggling to bend left. Did you struggle so left? Probably is going to struggle to bend to go to, left. To, to go to the right oh, okay, with left yeah, bend, yeah, yeah, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. A little bit confusing, but we'll we'll find out. And it's going to be all on split screen compared to Bobby and the beautiful galaxy in there. <laughs> what? It's going to be on a split screen. Me oh, having shut it. Up. Up. Oh, you're <laughs> joking. Oh, mate, that's not fair. <laughs> It'll be fine. Oh, It'll Oscar. be fine. He's going to be awesome. Oh, and then you stop when the camera gets turned on. Somebody's getting a bit jealous and pouring the ground and keen to go. But up first is this very posh looking dressage horse. <laughs> Lovely white bandages. <laughs> hey, you look so smart. <laughs> Oscar is up first. Just been doing my legs stretches because I thought actually. I'm a bit sore from yesterday, so I'm also eating a polo. I was a bit sore yesterday in my hip flexors after working really, really hard and thinking so much about my hips. And I've just done a good Nikki T swinging legs, which is something I really should have done yesterday, but it was just all a little bit go, go, go to be for getting on. So uh, yeah, just opening them up, which I'm hoping is going to help. And I have watched videos back that Sophie filmed of me yesterday, and I'm going to be trying to be conscious that I'm not tipping forward. My heels are down, 
and just be a little bit more aware of that as well as obviously trying to do some like you. <laughs> How do you feel? He looks awesome. Yeah. He's also probably a bit like I know you now. Yeah, and also like what Bobby taught me yesterday about being a leg on Is it helping him? I know what I know what I need. Yeah. Really? Yeah, so He he looks a lot happier. He feels it. And he looks so smart. To see your dressage test now on Saturday. Oh my god, I haven't even learned it. You'll be alright. We can learn it in the car on the way back. Yeah, that's good. We've only got six hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, to wrap, don't we? So, let's walk through it first. What are we doing? It's thinking about pushing his tummy away from your inside leg and turning your hips to me.
Ponies ridden. Thank you very much, Stephen. Taking the photos up here. Yeah, ponies all done. Riding is completed. All my episodes are done and I'm currently in. So we just had some headshots taken, but I'm in the tack room of dreams. Guys, you know that how much I love my Albion saddles and have a look at all of these. <laughs> like I say, tack room of dreams. Amazing, all numbness, all tidied away. Some naff ones out that we were doing the headshots with and bridles, 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 bridles. And now we're gonna get a personalized tour with Paul around your amazing, beautiful yard. Brilliant, well come with me and we'll show you around the yard. Show you the we start off with the babies first. Yeah, I've seen them, are they the ones by the door? Yeah, let's go around and have yeah. a look at them, shall we? So come with me, so okay. please attack me here. <laughs> Coming around through here. And then it's we're just going to see the babies. So the cute factor. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so oh. Have... Sophie's in love. I'm so in love with these babies. So here we have last, oh. last year's foals. So they're here now. So we keep them in here over the winter. So they're barned over the winter. Um, and then they'll go out in the spring when the fresh grass is through. And yeah. then they'll go out and field with the others and enjoy that. Hello. Oh. And, and this, this one a bit older. A, yeah, this is an older one. This is a... Uh, two-year-old filly, so she's by Dante Valentino out of uh, probably his uh, Grand Prix mare, Wallera. Oh. A bit of fun. So again, and they're we, in here they're in, in winter, here. like they're you say? In the winter, yeah. yeah. So we find them in here, yeah. and we, it's good for them to have the straw at the back, and we have the hard surface here, so it's really good for their feet, ah, so they don't okay. actually then get any uh, thrush and things like that, yeah. and things like that, so ah. that's how we keep that, and it's you know, just good for the go from soft to hard. Hard, yeah, um, absolutely. So we keep that. Ah. Get a little bit of strength in their hooves, I suppose, isn't absolutely. it? Absolutely, yeah. yeah. Come around here. So this is uh, Sahara. Oh. So Sahara you would have seen Bobby riding earlier, yeah. um, so she's uh, eight Beautiful. now. Uh, and she's by a horse called Showmaker. This is the one that we were struggling to get ears forward, That's wasn't right. it? <laughs> she was, yeah. She's so lovely and adorable. Oh, she is. Um, isn't she? And she's out of my Lancet Rubenstein there. Oh. And, uh, uh, oh, she's just, she's just so chilled, she aren't is, you? She's lovely. So, so chilled. Oh, um, so nice. down here too. <laughs> So are they all in by day or out yeah, well, when? Well, they're all in all stable at the moment, but obviously they go out in the field for a couple of hours, couple of hours. during the day, weather permitting things. Yeah. And this is Sybil, her girl, who looks Hi. after all these lovely horses. Sorry, horse. vlogging, camera out. And keeps the yard immaculate. Immaculate, yes. And keeps Bobby and myself completely under control. Yeah. Um, Organises <laughs> the road of what's happening as well, so. Uh, amazing. This is How long have you been here? Sorry. I've been here about a year and a half, I think, year and a time, half. but I've previously worked for them before. Oh, cool. Down so when we were down back. south, when we were in Chelmsford, so it yeah. was with, what, three or four years, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so, yeah. amazing. Nice to see this place sort of blossom. Yeah. It's oh, I nice. bet. No. I bet. Yeah. <laughs> so how long have you actually been here? You said that uh, you were down south. Down but... south. So we, we came up here in 2018. So it's been four years now. Four so years. we came up and we had to build from scratch for the indoor school and this barn. Because um, we couldn't really find anything that was suitable oh, okay. to, to set up you know, the house. Yeah. And then we, yeah, we, yeah, we wanted yeah. what, the family for the business. Yeah. So we found th this house and the property. And then we just set about building how we want it to go. Oh, which yeah. is, and it works yeah. really well for yeah. us. Yeah, 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 definitely. I've seen how it works. Yeah, it's no, it's amazing. Yeah. Uh, this is Sunny. He's uh, Hello, a Sunny. German horse. He's in for training. Um, Hello. And uh, he belongs to a lady called Marie, who's at Durham University. Ah, uh, okay. So she comes and rides in three or four times a week, and she wants to do U25, so it's him. So, oh, um, cool. So, again, he's absolutely lovely. Yeah. So really super. Yeah, very sweet. So she rides sweet. for Switzerland. Hello. So, <laughs> um, now, this is our Spanish quarter. Okay. So we have Caruso here. Belongs to another uh, client, which is down uh, in East Grinstead. So They're all I'm, huge. I feel yeah. so short. <laughs> Oh, say hello. Oh, look at your mane. It's, it's a lunchtime, so I think they're oh, happy with the hay. Happy with the hay, yeah. <laughs> so he's working sort of elementary, well, advanced oh. medium. Yeah. Um, but he won the elementary Spanish championships last year. Oh, amazing. Uh, so he's been, been good fun. Huh. And Harry over here. So Harry Jaranier is proper name. Again, he's uh, a <laughs> is much better. Oh, so Harry oh, came to us as a five-year-old. He's great fun. So he went 
he uh, won the Young Horse Championships. He went off to Paris and was wow. sixth at the, in Paris for the championships out there for the Spanish horses. Amazing. Brilliant. And uh, no, he's, not he's competing now. Um, well, he's, he's won a, a Prix St. George region final. And he's going to start this year at uh, Grand Prix. Oh, so, so he's absolutely good fun. Really good fun. Yeah. So he's got some lovely foals on so the who, ground. So who, is it Bobby Bike? No, I ride you him. Yeah, you I, ride him. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Now this is Diablo. Oh, he's hello. He's six. Uh, he's by oh, your uh, beautiful colour. Dante Valentino. Uh, again, he is half brother to the little two year old you saw on the bike. Oh, okay. really? So that's oh, the same okay. mother. Ah. He's starting And to they've been bred here? Yeah. Yes, yeah. Because yeah. 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 uh, you do quite a lot of breeding. Well, don't you? well, yeah, we have two or three brood mares, and yeah. we just have two or three a year. Yeah. Um, so, oh, nice. So he's, gonna, he's qualified for novice uh, regional with Andrew, so yeah. Bobby's husband. Oh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And then we have a lovely five-year-old here called Delta Force. So Delta, Bobby rides Delta. Okay. And uh, so she's a nice, another up-and-coming young, young mare for Bobby to Hello, ride. Sweetheart. And she is a half-sister to Sahara behind us. Oh, okay. So same mother. Oh. Yeah. Same mother, yeah. different father. Oh, so she's cool. by Diagio, which is DiMaggio. Yeah. Lancet Rubenstein. <laughs> And come through here. So there's our work stage, well, the work board. So oh, okay, yeah. Right, on that, who's driving what, where. Yeah. This game filled with times when fat is coming and the vet and things like that. <laughs> My followers will know that I love a good whiteboard. <laughs> <laughs> I've got a whiteboard at home. I've only got two horses, but. <laughs> so, two Slurum units. Oh, amazing. The dry, dream. Washed off. They get a nice sort of uh, yeah. you know, um, warm drive and get their backs looked oh. at. Station here. Yeah. Yes, tack room, we'll yes, tack room again, um, dreams. And we have another horse here with Diamond Asher. Hello. Bobby, uh, Andrew rides. Okay. So she's sort of working with Prince and George now. Okay. And another mm -hmm. lovely little horse here who's um, sort of jumping lines, but okay, okay. Andrew rides up to medium level. Hello. Like you say, oh, hello. So sweet. <laughs> Oh, you are very cute, aren't you? Yeah, hi. <laughs> no, back to my hay. <laughs> galaxy that Bobby was riding this oh, yes. morning. So who's a little bit tired after all the work today and all the filming. Yeah. So she's having a bit of a chill. Oh, and I bet it's weird for them having us all like strangers yeah, walking absolutely. around and like... But they're so chilled here. Yeah, aren't they? This is another youngster. Another. Um, so she's just five. Ah. Oh, so uh, it's called Rue. Yeah. So she's by Rubenstein N. Um, out of Quattro Mare, uh, who's also led by De Niro. So some lovely wines oh. in there. So she'll start oh. competing a bit this so year. So wonderful, exciting to watch for the future. And then another really pretty horse, this one. This is Rocky. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to say hello. Rocky, um, it's by Rock Forever, out of the Val Valdi Mare. He's got the most beautiful hello, head. And uh, he has the oh. most amazing temperament. Oh. And so he's just started at last medium level now. Um, but he's okay. the most adorable horse in our United States. Really? Oh, yeah, you can see it, can't you? Hello. <laughs> and then we've just set you around the next two around the back here. Yeah. So, so this is Samurai. Samurai oh. is half-brother to Sahara. Oh, OK. So same, uh, same father, which is show, uh, Showmaker. Yep. Um, Hello, and you are also a different good. mayor. Hello. Again, he's from Chris and George, working towards Grand Prix now. He's eight years old. Eight years old. And then we've got Lonsvelt. Now, Lonsvelt um, is a, as of this year, breeding stallion. Breeding stallion, so yeah. So he's, Lonsvelt, can you say hello? So he, oh, you are uh, a Grand Prix horse, and he's hello. super temperament. As you can see, he's not bothered. Do you want no, to come and say hello to him? Come and say hello. Yeah. Hello. Come and say hello. <laughs> absolutely adores people. Hello, so he's got beautiful. foals due this year. And uh, so, st so we've got uh, nominations for this year. So he's by <laughs> London You want the Dairy. camera? You want the <laughs> so he's by London Dairy out of uh, Donna Hall, uh, Donna Hall, well by there. But you can see how lovely he is. Oh, isn't he? Mm. And he's <gasps> just the loveliest stallion ever. We've had him since a two and a half year old. Oh, lovely. Uh, so we've trained him up through. He won the four year old championships okay. and was placed in five and six year olds. And then he's been placed all the way up through um, and won 
Peace and George region titles. And, uh, like you say, his temperament is just, yeah. 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 Oh, beautiful, beautiful. So that's, yeah. that's our little Oh, yard. well, thank you very much oh, for the yeah. tour around. No, it's a yard of dreams, as you can imagine. But, oh, no, thank you. And it's been wonderful being here, so thank you for oh, having no, us and, like, doing yeah, it been, all and, yeah. It's been great having you here and it's been nice to see you ride and, and actually it's been great to see how well you you know, yeah. with Bobby's Thanks. help and things. So oh, actually, thank you, yeah. You yeah, Jenny that. said that to me. She said, yeah. you're riding so differently to the end of what you were at the beginning. Yeah, no, exactly. <laughs> but, yeah. No, thank you very Fantastic. much. How lovely is Paul? He's the best husband there. Honestly, and as you guys would have just seen, he so passionate, isn't he? He's you can just amazing. tell it. The way that he's speaking about all the horses, what they've done and everything. And, yeah, they've built this yard for them and for their needs and they have done an incredible incredible job the stables that we're actually is because they hold camps here so this is if you were to come here for a camp with bobby jill does like all the food as you, i'm going to show you lunch today because lunch yesterday was mind-blowing amazing and we're like we are not missing it today <laughs> so we're gonna have that before we before we jump on the road unfortunately it has got to come to an end and we've got to go home I don't want it to end. I want to just keep having dressage lessons and learning, although my body probably could do with a day off. But it has just been incredible. So yeah, pack up everything now because standard Emily, I am in a complete and utter mess with it. Oh, there's my little messy corner, but thankfully it is just a case of just whack everything in. I'll sort it when I get home. <laughs> it's lunchtime. Oh, yummy, yummy, yummy. Get in my belly. Happy ponies munching away, aren't you? Before the travel, back to Sophie's. All done. Pony adventure over, Spruddy Woo. Oh, best sound. The sun is bright, but it's been a lovely, another epic second day. I don't feel like I've properly rounded off this vlog at all. We've just done a full muck out, and so we swapped it. So we've stood here with both the ponies. I've done my stable and then she's just gone and done Oscars. And yeah, all mucked out, trailer being set up and we're ready to hit the road. I'm home, I'm finally home. <laughs> it is now Thursday. We got back quite late to Sophie's, about half eight last night. And you know what? It was just a lot easier to just crash. I got up early doors, got on the road and welcome back to miserable Cornwall but it's a lot warmer it's 10 degrees how are we doing spready boo how are we doing we're home we're finally home um I think it's about I don't know quarter to <laughs> ah spready let's get you out as quick as we possibly can because you'll be dying for some field time won't you you've been a superstar I'm so proud of you so proud of you come on then let's go see Addy is that good spready boo is that what you needed? Oh, and down again. Second roll. Camera's getting wet. Good girly. Enjoy. Oh, it's very wet. Millie. Really? Hello. I'll come and see you first, shall I? Hi, oh, top boy. Okay. Oh, wait. Oh, good girl. How do I get my other one out? Get the little Nala out. Oh, hello, Bobby. Hello! 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 You okay? Oh, have you missed me? Have you missed me? Hello, you don't know what to do. You don't know what to do. You're spinning and spinning and spinning. Hey! Oh, hi. Oh! 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 Are you please going home? Oh, it's lush going away, isn't it? But... It's so nice to come back and see your, see your animals. And then I'll wait for Chris to get home today, but I thought I would just uh, pop that down there and just sort of end the vlog with my puppy. Oh, <laughs> oh I've missed you. But of course, the episodes are all gonna be on Horse and Country TV. Make sure that you've got your subscriptions. And they're all going to be in really digestible bite-sized chunks. So I think there's going to be 14 
with the dressage and then there's going to be extra ones on top of that from NAF talking about feeding your horse and supplements and when you see certain things happening with your horse and what then to feed and all of that so that will be really informative too i feel like i have learned so so much i need to go and write it all down uh to keep it in there but of course it will, will be coming out for you guys to see and for me to watch back again and yeah i think sometimes possibly when you've got all the cameras on you you do ride ever so slightly different um i'm just thinking now that nala's gone that probably isn't the best of angles um you don't probably ride quite as well because you are conscious that everybody's eyes are on you you're being filmed i did do some real silly things because my brain i think by the end of it was quite frazzled um and then i was like cut that out that's got to be cut out but i think that will most definitely be in there so yeah it doesn't matter it happens to us all and hopefully by using riders like david jess myself as well as seeing how incredibly talented bobby is doing it hopefully that you guys will find it quite relatable so yeah excited for it to come out the first episode will be in a couple of weeks time so like i say make sure that you've got your subscriptions and you can see sprite and i on the telly as well as the lovely oscar and a huge thank you to sophie for allowing me to ride him trusting me to ride him and also for allowing me to crash with you for a couple of nights putting both sprite and myself up much much appreciated and to Alex her partner as well making sure that we had tea when we got home yesterday it was lovely it was uh, yeah really good fun and was nice to have company on the longest part of the travel but I am actually supposed to be working today so I obviously let them know and I think they totally understood that I couldn't do all of that drive maybe I was a little bit ambitious thinking I could do that all in one day yesterday that everyone was like no you need to cut it down and especially when we got back so late yesterday after riding both horses again yesterday morning it was probably just a little bit too much and for spritey as well but she as yeah she's had a roll down on both sides and now she will have i don't even think that she's minding that it's raining right now and that she's out i think she's just like yay back out in a 10 acre field with grass so she will be happy but she has been an absolute superstar and just lovely to have her on a bit of an adventure and make memories again with her and like this vlog and yeah oh yeah it's just it's lovely so huge thank you to everybody that was involved like tim and stephen the hailers paul thank you oh all of them jill paul and bobby and andrew all just so so lovely and welcoming onto their oh their beautiful yard as you saw so yeah thank you to those guys and jill for putting on gorgeous lunchtime spreads for us they were amazing and if you want to have camps up there obviously have a look on probably their instagram their website especially if you live close to them make sure that you uh, check out their dates i hear that their camps are a huge success so yeah get yourself on that and of course to horse and country tv jenny for asking me to be part of it and yeah like i say i've just taken away so much information that i cannot wait to put that all with Addy and use it all with Addy. I'm so so excited. She is having a little bit of a two week mini holiday at the moment, which I can't wait for that now to be over. Get back in the school now that she's loading. Yes. Huge thanks for Fred for helping me with that. And yeah, then I can get started and even our hacking, to be honest with you. I can't wait to see like the half halt with the knees and things like that and see how she responds to it. Obviously, Spritey was very good at it um, and picked up on it very quickly. Addy probably would be a little bit slower, but still, I think the same concept works for all horses. So yeah very 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 obviously more than just half hops with my legs but very very exciting like i mentioned make sure that you are got your subscription to horse and country tv so you can watch the series when it comes out and i hope you've enjoyed this vlog please do like comment and subscribe like always but for now i need to get home and do some work go home with my poppy dog and i will see you guys all very very soon take care bye <laughs>